France in the grip of another gruesome attack. Three people killed by a knife-wielding assailant at a church in Nice this morning. One victim apparently beheaded. We saw by the windows that there were many, many, many policemen coming. And uh, then we heard gunshots, many gunshots. Distraught parishioners gathered at the scene. One of the victims, apparently a church warden. I'm so shocked, said this woman. I see him walking, lighting candles. Now I'm thinking he's not there anymore. The attacker was shot and injured by police, who've identified him as a 21-year-old recently arrived Tunisian man. The mayor of Nice called it an act of Islamofascism. There was no doubt what was behind the attacker's actions, he said. He didn't stop saying Allahu Akbar while he was being treated. Local Muslim leaders have strongly condemned the attack. France was already on edge, shaken by the murder two weeks ago of Samuel Paty, a teacher beheaded after showing caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad as part of a class discussion. Ce matin, nous avons décidé... Visiting the scene today, the French president Emmanuel Macron said France is under attack. He's ordered thousands more soldiers to the streets and raised the country's terrorist alert to the highest level. Macron's refusal to denounce the Muhammad cartoons have prompted outrage and protests in many parts of the Muslim world. Church bells across France rang today in honor of the victims of this latest attack. And as night fell, the city and the rest of the country were also entering another stage of strict pandemic lockdown, a reminder that Macron has more than one crisis on his hands. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London. Now, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau condemned the attacks in France. They were heinous criminal acts, unjustifiable by any circumstances, and an affront to all of our values. Uh, we stand uh, with everyone around the world in condemning this unacceptable violence. And in the House of Commons this afternoon, there was a moment of silence in memory of the victims.